with a business profile. So let's see, we already have an auto login saved for the restaurant. Okay, so when you come in, this is a light profile, so that's why some of the features are inactive. The inactive ones are uh, your loyalty program as far as knowing specific customers, how often they're coming, how much they're spending, their birthdays, so you can send special coupons and things like that. You have statistics and newsletters and surveys, all sorts of great stuff uh, when you upgrade that's hiding out there. Uh, so when we go ahead and we need to process the sales, we're going to need to use this U term. The V term is the old version uh, that was just on the computer. However, now the U term is both on the computer and on the app, which is really neat. Uh, and then shopping point deals, if you click on that, will actually take you to the same place because uh, that's where you process the shopping point deals. So if we click on this, you're going to see, uh, just so you know, sometimes it asks for a extra login. And uh, if you're just patient, it auto logs you in. So let's see if it does that really quick. See, it's asking for this login whoop, and it auto logged it. Sometimes you just have to wait up to 30 seconds to even a minute. That one went really quick this time, which was pretty neat. Um, there we go. So create a sale is our first stop. So if somebody came to the restaurant, which in this case they did, I need to process their sale. Now, if you have a customer that's in your store and you'd like to give them the shopping point deal, you can use the secure a deal and this is to go ahead and redeem those points. So we're going to use the create a sale. I could also get it right here on the left under sales. We also have deals, which would be the shopping point deals. And then you have your statistics as far as seeing what all of those are. So we're going to go create a sale and oh, I need my member ID. Just know, I always like to use the ID numbers rather than phone numbers because if it's not just a straight shopper, let's say it's uh, the customer is a business owner or a marketer, their phone number is linked to other accounts and it has troubles looking it up. So I like to use member numbers. I created this spreadsheet in order to process the new sales for this restaurant. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. So this one, uh, you can see right here, I need to process it. <laughs> So I like to copy paste, come over, and we're going to search for that. Now, it only shows initials if you have this light program. If you have uh, the upgraded programs, that's when you get to know your customers' names and all of that good stuff. So I need to put in the amount. So if I come back over here to my sheet, I say I need uh, to put in $12.75 for this loyalty sale. Okay, reference number. I like to leave this blank because you can only have one reference number uh, because for the comments is where I put the receipt number. I ran into troubles like on this one when different people uh, want to have different cashback amounts, which is kind of common, which is cool. So we had, um, you know, three different people uh, getting cash back on one bill. So there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and copy paste that receipt number into the comments so I can track it and immediately when you click save it registers it so there's not a second confirmation so just make sure everything is correct and then go ahead and click save and there you go sale successfully added so that's where it shows you that it's done now here's an, the next sale I'm on my note I'm gonna put done and then uh, oh and also what I'm is adding my name and the date so that way I can keep track of it. So the last sale that I need to do, copy, grab my loyalty number. Wow, look, this is one of the under the first 5,000 in the United States. Congratulations. So search. And there we go. Their initials are up. Now this one, we have both a sale and a deal that was processed. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And you can see that it's already in the system that they grabbed the deal for the free taco. So if it's not in the system, uh, then they actually need to grab it on their end, which means they haven't secured the deal. Um, though in that case, they would not have gotten a deal code. So I already have a deal code. Uh, so that's why it finds it in the system. And there we go. So this is getting redeemed. So select that. And my deal data was done. So in step two is the amount of the purchase, which in this case was $9.81. Compile. 
copy paste it. Oh, my receipt number. Copy paste that. And we are good to go. Let's see. Well, what did it just mean if I see? Oh, it didn't like the dollar sign on it. Ah, there we go. Hmm. Okay. It shows you right there what the benefit will, amounts will be. So the total margin, which is what um, the restaurant is charged to 7%, uh, those go out to all the different parts. Uh, though the part to the customer comes back as 19 cents of cash back, uh, as well as a 16th of a shopping point. So every little bit adds up. So whether it's $9 at the restaurant, $100 at Walmart, $50 at Arco, it could be $20 at IHOP, all of this adds up, uh, which is really neat. And each week you get your cash back and you get your shopping points to go spend on neat deals. Okay, so click save and we are set. Successfully added. And that's as easy as that. So we're good to go on the loyalty sales and make sure you get lots of them. If you have any questions, just make sure to connect at cashbackteacher.com.